for everyone. This is a subject which is elements of machine design. What is the difference between machine design and elements of machine design? Machine design is for example you are going to design full lathe machine or maybe a drilling machine, milling machine. It is a machine design. In fifth semester mechanical engineering diploma, we are going to study design of elements. Elements means we, we are going to design gear, maybe shaft or maybe joints. So various elements of the machine design we are going to study. Now fundamentals of the design. So in today's lecture, we are going to cover introduction, general design procedure, general considerations, basic design requirements, type of boards, stresses, strain. So let us see first that is introduction to general design. What do you mean by machine design in a broader way? So it is defined as the use of scientific principles, technical informations and imagination in the description of any machine or any mechanical system to perform specific functions. To understand this definition, I have made a block diagram and we will go one by one each step of this block diagram. First step is the recognition of need. Recognition of need means what? What do you want? You want to write? You want to write something? Then you have to design a pen. If you want to push something, then we have to either have a spring push button or maybe push button operated mechanism. We want to have a reciprocating motion, then we can have various mechanisms reciprocating to reciprocating. So that is a recognition of need. Use of scientific principles, technical information. Technical information means if you have a transmission system, then what all kilowatts power it is going to transmit, how much is the RPM. So all these are known as technical information. Kinematics means which mechanism we are going to use to serve this purpose. When we know mechanical engineering materials from our base, so study of that. Using all these principles, we need to create a design. Create a design means concluding the dimensions that if I want to have this part functioning, then what dimensions it should possess, that is a design. Once design engineer will make the design, prototype will be prepared which is known as a model. So that model will be tested and evaluated. If model satisfies the test, all stresses used, all bending and all failure chances will be less than permissible, then design will be communicated to the shop floor for manufacturing purpose. But if there are flaws, means our design are subjected to failure, there is any chance, let us say 1% also, then we need to give feedback to the again design department. So, design department will modify, which is known as improvising the design. So, this is our basic of design of machine elements. Next, we are going to study today, that is general design procedure. For any component need to be designed, we are going to follow general design procedure. So, which are all steps which we will be following? That is recognition of need, mechanism, analysis of forces, selection, design of machine elements, modification, detail drawing, assembly drawing and production. So, let us see one by one what is first step that is recognition of need. As I told you that our purpose is to have a translatory motion. We can have translatory motion from the rotary motion. So we will be using single slide or crank chain mechanism. If we want to have a sliding motion from the sliding motion itself, then we will be using let's say Oldham's coupling or universal coupling. So that is a recognition of the need. For that, as I told you, which mechanisms which we are going to use. Either we are going to use a four bar mechanism or a single slider crank chain mechanism or a double slider crank chain mechanism. So that mechanism, there will be so many alternatives for functioning our need. 
out of that we need to select a best alternative then we have to study the analysis of the forces for example on any component either there will be a tensile force or maybe a compressive force or there is a twisting or there is a bending so which type of force is going to act that is known as analysis of forces after that we need to select a material based on the theory which already you have studied in your third semester that is mechanical engineering materials properties of the engineering materials in various conditions for example for spring it should have ductility stiffness etc so based on that we will be selecting carbon steel alloy steel so that is the next part that is material selection after analysis of forces and material have been selected we will be designing any machine component designing means as i told you we have to conclude to the dimensions for example there is a circular rod and it is subjected to a load then we'll be using a formula stress is equal to load upon area if rod is circular area will be pi by 4 d square if rod is rectangular area will be breadth into thickness so after having certain empirical relationship between breadth and thickness we will be able to find out breadth and thickness or we will be able to find diameter which is design of machine elements after we design the element we need to modify our design but in which condition we will modify if our design does not satisfy then we will be modifying it does not satisfy means what whatever stresses are going to get developed in that component should be less than its permissible capacity of the material if it is less than permissible then design is safe no need of modification but if induced stresses are more than permissible then we have to modify the design after our modification is done we will be drawing detailed drawing as well as assembly drawing nowadays we will be using various softwares like creo maybe cad for functioning this drawing part one more parameter is there which is not shown here that is a next part which is used in the industry that is 3d printing and prototype modeling after 3d printing and prototype modeling final production will be started Thank you very much.